Hey, darling, touch this. Wow, quite smooth, eh? What material is this? Wifey material. In a way, it's a man that is through his tummy. So today's episode, we're gonna be cooking. cooking. And you know, my other hot pot is, is in trend today. We're gonna do that. Oh, okay. Mm, that's awesome. Yeah. It's my favorite. Yeah, me too. I'm preparing the ingredients for mala hot pot, mushrooms, yeah, and potatoes. Tuto is one of the essential in mala hot pot. We're gonna make mala hot pot from this pre-mixed sauce from Hai Di Lao. It's very easy to get. You can buy it from Red Mart or any supermarket. So in there, there is chili oil. There's chili and peppers, and this is very spicy depending on whether you want xiao la, zhong la, or da la. You can add a little bit on the whole pack. I'm quite surprised that they actually have the dry version mm -hmm. of it. So, is this considered chipping since we just bought it off the shelves? Oh no, we're the modern age women. We don't need to make things from scratch. This is easy. And you know, I'm being so resourceful, another quality of wifey material. <laughs> I'll add the mala sauce first because I don't like to put too much oil and this is already very oily. No, so you yeah. sieve out all the oil and just yeah. put in the, the spice. Yeah, I put a little bit of oil so that we can it's not too dry. I'll put in ingredients that are harder to cook, like carrots and potatoes. If you want it to be quick, you can pre-boil it before you chop them up. Boil I put that. about two spoons full. Yes. Lotus roots, they take quite long to cook too. We'll put the vegetables later. Mushrooms. So here you have already put in carrots, lotus roots, mm -hmm. potatoes and mushrooms. Yeah. Okay, I put the heat up to medium. Uh, high medium. And then just start stirring it. Yeah. Oh, so you don't have to put it to a boil first. Uh, just heat yeah, it up. Yeah, it's already oh. sort of like boiling. Wow, it smells really good. Yeah. I'll just throw that in. I actually pre-boiled them. So it took about an hour or less to prep all these ingredients. So the now temperature is quite high now. Just let it... <coughs> just make sure that you yeah. stir it continuously to prevent it from getting burned. Uh, yeah, just once in a while, you can actually cover it up so that those ingredients get softened. Maybe five minutes. Mm. Then we can start throwing in the vegetables. And you can see from the ingredients here, I use quite healthy stuff, a lot of vegetables. And I don't really like processed food, so I don't use spam hot dogs. But um, I love putting it in noodles. Yeah, that's yeah. the difference between yeah. buying it and cooking mm -hmm. it by ourselves. Because I realized that a lot of mala hot pot outside, they do have processed food. Yeah, mm. crab steak. Mm. Mm. I don't like that as well. As a wifey material, we have to think for our partner's health, right? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. Yes, I told you it's super spicy. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze into it. <laughs> I also pre uh pre baked not baked, pre roasted Roast. some peanuts for that crunchiness. So when do you add the peanuts in? Just the last bit. Um, mushrooms, vegetables. I love contact noodles. Yeah, me too. Is it healthier than normal noodles? No, oh, no? it's processed with Ooh. the starch. But okay, once in a while it's, it's fine. <laughs> Since we have everything else, which is very healthy. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. sure you've seen the soup version as which well. Which is called mala tang. Yeah, and yeah. then this is called the mala xiang guo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, it's almost done. So the last step is to put in my peanuts for that crunchiness and the corianders. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Coriander for the taste. And the mala hot pot is done. Yay! Yeah. It's taste test time! Wow! Wow! How does it taste? You cook it just nicely, mm -hmm. like it's still crunchy, but it's not overcooked. Most importantly, like it doesn't go like right down my throat, or like, I find that it's too choky for me to just absorb mm -hmm. it. Wow, very crunchy. Yeah, it's so good. 
and it's um, peanuts but there's no weird taste. And the good thing about it is that you cook the brown rice, mm -hmm. hoping if you know people find it, it might be a little bit too spicy, uh, spicy or there's some oil in it. Just eat the brown rice together. Mm -hmm. I prefer brown rice also because mm -hmm. I, I, I find that the flavour is just so mm -hmm. nice. Thanks, Grace. My pleasure. Now, at least I can act like I'm a good cook. Yeah, easy, right? Oh. <laughs> you know, at least I can come and take okay. away <laughs> every time you cook and then okay. just pretend like I made that. <laughs> this simple way of cooking really helps you guys out there. Yeah, let us know what else you want us to cook or what you want to see on the channel, remember to subscribe and like the video. Yeah. And we hope to bring you more content to brighten up your day. See you soon! Bye bye! I'm gonna continue. <laughs> or just like, so I just take the whole thing away. <laughs> <laughs>